and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia. Today I am bringing you a Walmart grocery haul. I have it all lined up for you guys right back here. I'm gonna include all of the prices of course. And there are some things that I'm getting in the app later today for pickup. So it's not here, but I will still show those prices on the screen. So let me show you everything and let me talk about all of the dinners I am making. Um, quite a bit of meals on my list, all that are probably not gonna make this week, but will run into next week as well, which I'm totally fine with. That just means next week it will be easier for me to meal plan. So let's start right here with the chicken thighs. These were on sale. You saved $2.20, so I decided to pick it up. I think it's almost a pound and a half. I kind of peeled it back over a pound and a half. 1.8 pounds, so that's perfect. So what I think I'm gonna make with this is like a one pot sun-dried tomato chicken pasta. I have a bunch of sun-dried tomatoes that I wanna use up and I'm really into like the one pot type meals, especially for like busy moms, busy dads that need to throw something together very fast. So I'm gonna hopefully put out a recipe soon. I also picked up a really large bag, a five pound bag of yellow potatoes. So I'm wanting to do some roasted potatoes as a side dish to a uh, roasted chicken that I'm gonna do, like an entire whole chicken that I found in my freezer from Costco. I don't even know when I got that, maybe several months ago. So I wanna use it this week. And the, they were selling like the one and a half pound like packages for nearly the same price of this. So this is a lot of potatoes, but I'll just make like breakfast potatoes too. I will find some uses for these guys. So this is definitely new to me. I was talking to my mom about this the other day, if I had ever tried this. Now she said that she used to buy this a long time ago when we were little kids. I don't really remember, but in the future, like in the next few weeks, I'm gonna be doing a, another Disney movie night family dinner type of meal, like I did for Lilo and Stitch. I haven't done this in a long time and I really wanna get back into those theme movie nights. So this is happening. I'm not gonna tell you what this is if you know, then definitely leave a comment down below, but this is gonna be for that movie night. I also got some mustard. I just needed to replace our mustard in the fridge. We ran out the other day. So I was shopping with my daughter, which was a huge mistake, but I had to take her. And of course she spotted Elsa and Mickey and Woody. Of course, how could I say no? So in here, they're little cups. They're actually really, really cute, tiny, like perfect individual sizes for kids. And um, they're different flavors. There's strawberry and then a cotton candy. So for that theme dinner, I got these guys. These are fish sticks. I was hoping to make my own, but you know what? I figured, you know, let's make this easy. And I decided just to go with a frozen and I'm probably gonna heat these up in the air fryer. I also have some mozzarella cheese and some cheddar cheese. I'm gonna also make a one pot ziti that is gonna go um, for the mozzarella, it's gonna go in there. And then cheddar cheese I always like to have for like quesadillas or if I decide to make like tacos or anything. Oh, and I'm making some shrimp fajitas. I don't have a recipe for it, I just kind of throw everything together. So there's gonna be some cheese. I know you don't usually include cheese on there, but for my kids, I like it as a side. I also picked up some bacon. We ran through all of our bacon already from Costco, so this is just to hold us over until I can get to Costco for the month of June. I also got some frozen vegetables, some sweet peas, and some peas and carrots. Guys, I did the self-checkout and I was appalled to see the price of this pathetic bag of grapes. It's really not much in here, but it was also like, this was the, one of the very last things I was buying and I didn't want to put it back. So I sucked it up and I purchased it, but some green grapes for my kids to snack on. I finally got this. Winco did not have it whenever I went, so I got the beef bouillon. I like to have this package. Instead of having to buy like a whole container of beef, bro beef broth, this is just way more cost efficient to buy it this way. I have two cans of condensed tomato soup that I'm gonna make for a one pot ziti recipe some sugar and some more flour for all of my baking needs. I have some yogurts back here. These are actually for my husband. Uh, he usually likes like the mixed berry, but they didn't have that at Walmart, so I just got three of the strawberry. I'm sure he'll be just fine with that. I do have an open box of the graham crackers because my daughter got hungry in Walmart and so she needed a little snack. She was getting hangry. This was my lifesaver. I decided to get the Cinnamon Crunch, like just the great value Walmart brand. I wanna see if my kids notice a difference um, with this compared to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So I'm gonna stick this bag in the Cinnamon Toast Crunch box and I'm gonna see what they say about it. 
I have a box of ziti for my one pot baked ziti I'm gonna be trying out. A box of Cheerios back there for my daughter for snacking on or for my kids to snack on as well, like if they want a bowl of cereal with bananas or strawberries in it, that's a good snack. I have two gallons of whole milk back here. I have two different salsas. I, I swear by this salsa. This salsa is so delicious. It is the roasted green salsa. And then I also just got the regular medium fresh roasted salsa. I have two 18 packs of eggs that came just like this. I don't think I've ever noticed it coming like this before. And the price was so good. I'm so thankful that eggs are back to normal prices. I have three white onions. Usually I pick up garlic whenever I get onions, but I have plenty of garlic, so we're good there. And I also got three limes. Um, this is gonna go onto the shrimp fajitas, along with these bell peppers. I was gonna purchase bell peppers individually. I was gonna get one yellow and one red, but it worked out cheaper to get the three pack, so I got that, I'll just use all of them. I also went to the deli section and I asked for some Honey turkey, what did I get? Oh yes, I got the Sara Lee honey turkey breast. So this is a little over a pound of it. So this is good for wraps and sandwiches. I have some sugar snap peas for my kids' lunches as a side, along with a cucumber. I, um, we're growing cucumbers in our backyard right now. They're technically like the pickled cucumbers, the ones that we actually pickle them to make pickles, but they taste good. You can eat them raw. So. While we're waiting for our harvest to come in, I'm just gonna buy an individual cucumber for now. I also got some match stick carrots and this is gonna go into my one pot ziti. I have some halved Brussels sprouts because I am out of all Brussels sprouts and all veggies from Costco and from my latest, I don't remember where I went recently, I feel like I've been everywhere, um, but I needed to replenish our vegetables and so I got some Brussels sprouts and some broccoli florets, I got three heads right there. A large box of the organic baby spinach. I don't like to get the containers like this, but I needed more baby spinach. Um, so I just got this and then I also have a bunch of cilantro for our shrimp, shrimp fajitas and then one of the other meals that I already have all my ingredients for that I'm making is a cilantro lime like chicken bowl. I have some chicken breasts. I'm just going to marinate them in some cilantro lime seasoning, make some Mexican rice or maybe even some cilantro lime rice. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll figure that out. And then the other thing I was going to make are some chicken drumsticks. In fact, let's come over here and see. Let's look in here. You can see all of my freezer. I need to really like reorganize it. Oh, okay, here it is. Um, from Costco last month, I got the, like the seasoned drumsticks and they're so, so good, you guys. They're like in a garlic paste marinade. I don't know what it is, but it is bomb. So this I'm gonna defrost for having for dinner this week and I'm gonna make some easy rice peel off to go with it. Okay, and real quick, what I'm picking up from Walmart, as soon as they notify me that it's ready, I'm getting some crushed tomatoes. I'm getting two cans of that for a meal that I'm keeping secret. So a diced tomato can, some small fajita flour tortillas for our fajitas, some tortilla chips, because obviously I got all that salsa, we need chips. This probably gives my Disney movie night away, but I got some alphabet pasta. If you don't know, that's okay. You will either see it in the comments, someone's gonna leave the name of the movie down below, or you're just gonna have to see in a few weeks, so you better subscribe to my channel to see that. All right, guys, and that is it for my Walmart haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoy this type of content and that I can continue to make these type of grocery hauls and other food-related videos. I really appreciate that. And please subscribe before you leave. I would love that, and I would love to have you around. All right, my friends, so I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.